In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the skin smooth without losing the skin details. My name is Eustace and if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. Let's do this. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to make two copies of this background layer. I'm just going to drag it and drop it here. And then I'm going to drag this one and drop it here. I'm going to double click on this background copy. And then I'm going to name this layer as colors. And then I'm going to double click on background copy too. And then I'm going to name this layer as textures. I'm going to disable the texture layer. And then I'm going to select the color layer. I'm going to go on filter. And then I'm going to select noise. And then I'm going to select dust and scratches here. Let me just move it here. I'm going to reduce the radius to one. And then I'm going to select a place in a photo that has a lot of textures. I'm going to select this part. And then I'll start adding the radius until I stop seeing the textures, but I can still see the features of the model's face. So I'm going to select the radius of 40, and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select the texture layer, and then I'm going to enable it. And then I'm going to go to image, then I'm going to select apply image. On the source here, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. On the layer, I'm going to change from merged to the color layer, the one we made here. And then channel, I'm going to leave it at RGB. Blending option, I'll change it to subtract because we're subtracting the textures from the color layer. Opacity, I'm going to leave it at 100%. Scale, I'll set the scale to two. Offset, I'm going to set the offset to 128. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go on blending mode here. And then I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to linear light. I'm going to select the texture layer. And then I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard. And then I'm going to select the color layer. I'm going to put these layers in a group. I'm going to drop it on the group icon here. And then I'm going to double click on the group here. And then I'm going to name this group as frequency separation. I'm going to open the folder, and then I'm going to select the color layer. I'm going to go to my tools here, and then I'm going to select the lasso tool here. I'm going to set the feather to 20 pixels. So I'm going to select this part. I'm going to go to filter, and then select blur, and then select Gaussian Blur. I'm going to take the radius back to 0.1 and then I'll start pushing it up until I'm okay with how smooth I want this skin to be. I'm going to select 40 and then I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to select this part and then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur and then Gaussian Blur. I'm going to use the radius of 40 then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select this part. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to select 80. Then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select this part. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. I'm going to reduce the radius value to to a smaller number because I don't want our nose to look flat. So I'm going to use the radius value of 40. I'm just going to type 40 here. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select this part. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. 40 is OK. Then I'm going to click OK. So these are before, these are after, these are before, these are after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the pimples and the blemishes. So I'm going to go to my frequency separation folder here, and then I'm going to select the texture layer here. I'm going to go on my tools, and then I'm going to select the clone stamp tool here. I'm going to zoom in like this. I'm going to replace this pimple with this clean part. I'm going to hold alternate on the keyboard, option on the Mac, and then I'm going to left click to sample a clean part like this. And then I'll just paint it on the pimple that I want to remove, like this. Alternate, sample, paint. 
alternate sample paint. So I'll keep doing this. So let me just zoom out. So these are before, these are after, these are before, these are after. So this is how easy it is to make the skin smooth without losing the skin details. So now let me show you the simplest and the easiest way to do the dodging and burning in Photoshop. I'm going to go to my actions here and then I'm going to select the image pop. I'm going to click on it. Photoshop is going to do everything for me. And then I'm going to open the image pop folder. I'm going to double click on this curve. The layer style is going to pop up. Let me just move it here so that we can see what's happening. On underlining layer here, I'm going to go on this triangle. I'm going to alternate on the keyboard, option on the mark, and then I'm going to drag this other part of the triangle. I'm going to just drag it to this side. I'll let go somewhere here. And then I'm going to click, okay. So this are before. This are after, this are before, this are after. So this action, the image pop, and these other actions are in my retouching actions pack. I'll put the download link in the description below. So what you can do from here is to whitening the eyes and to do the dodging and burning. If you want to learn the best way to whitening the eyes, you should check this video on top. And if you want to learn the best way to do the dodging and burning, you should check this video down here.